to bat number 11, Gunnar Charleston. Welcome back to Ray and B. Dillard Field as we await a great matchup between the Mount Olive Trojans and North Greenville Crusaders coming up next on the North Greenville Sports Network. Getting a little late start here due to technical difficulties as we two to nothing going into the bottom of the first. I'm Will Cahaley. I'll be your play-by-play -play announcer here with Rondo Thompson and we have an overcast day but hope for some great baseball as we await a doubleheader today. Uh, it's said to be a good one in Tigerville. Got two of the best two teams in the conference. Whoever wins this, this series is probably going to take the conference. Coming up to bat for North Greenville is Josh Black. Utah Jones and John Jones, and they'll be facing Brighton Hudson. Josh Black's batting about 380, 382 right now. It's pretty good. As a matter of fact, most of the North Greenville is up there in the batting average above 350, with John Jones leading the team in batting average at 414. Got a little dinger out there. That one's flow. <laughs> Two one count here to Josh Black. That's going to hang up there and be caught by the right fielder for one out. The catch on Nate Estes from Mount Olive. Coming up is a shortstop, Utah Jones, batting 352 on the season.
And that it gets dropped by the third baseman, and he's out at first. That so was kind of close, Will. So there's two outs here in the bottom of the first with John Jones up to bat, leading in batting average. Batting sensational, 4-14. Second pitch is a little inside as it's a 1 1 count. And that's going to be grounded to the shortstop. And a good throw to first makes it three outs. So it's two to nothing, Mount Olive at the end of the first. And we'll be seeing if Mount Olive can put up any more runs in the top of the second. Up to bat first for the Mount Olive Trojans is Jose, the center fielder, Jose, or catcher, Jose Lopez. And on the mound for North Greenville is Tucker Burgess. As the first pitch is fired in there for a strike. Second pitch is fouled for 0-2 count. Up at the shoulders on the for ball one. Pitches inside. The count is two and two. And that's fouled off of John Jones for a foul ball. Count remains two and two.
And that's hit right to Utah Jones for the first out of the inning. Coming up to bat for Mount Olive is the second baseman, Justin Lee. Justin Lee, the sophomore of Snow Hill, North Carolina. Swing and a miss. hesitant on that swing. Mm -hmm. Coming into this game, this will give you an idea of this matchup. Is that one's a fly ball? Fly out the right. And it's caught. <laughs> Something I wanted to mention is Mount Olive is winners of seven straight coming into this game. And North Greenville is, win North Greenville is winners of 12 straight. So something's got to give after this game. There's two outs now with James Smebert coming up to bat the third baseman. That's grounded it out to the second base. Oh, the throw is wide and into the dugout. So that'll be a ground rule double. So runners on second here for Mount Olive with Blake McLean coming up to bat the shortstop. That pitch is fouled off. The count is now one and two. <laughs> Just a little outside for the two and two count. That's popped way up, and the second baseman will come in to grab it, and that's three outs. So the score remains 2-0 as we go into the bottom of the second to see if North Greenville can answer the two runs put up in the first.
Connor Grant coming up to bat here in the bottom of the second. Connor Grant batting in the cleanup spot and doing exactly what they want him to do as he's leading the team in home runs and Blythe. RBIs. Blythewood native. The first pitch is fired in there for a strike. And that's going to be lined into right field for the first hit for North Greenville of the game. So here with the runner on first with no outs, Jeffrey Chandler coming up to bat. And Chandler's another batter of this North Greenville lineup that's just putting up great numbers, batting 367 on the season. Because the first pitch is in there for a ball. A little low for ball two. That's it, high but foul. Two and one count here in the bottom of the second with the runners on first with no outs. That's grounded the shortstop for a double play. Yeah, North Greenville's wishing they could get that one back. Yeah, now with two outs here in the bottom of the second. Ryan Brown coming up to bat. With North Greenville down two outs, hopefully Ryan can get something going, get some score on the board. That one's a little high. And that's low. So the count is now three and one to Ryan Brown, who leads the team in walks. We got a full count now with two outs here in the bottom of the second. And that'll be fouled off. Count remains three two. And that's a shot to right field. And it's gone. On a 3-2 count, Ryan Brown, crush Ryan Brown crushes one to right field for a solo shot as it's now 2-1 to one here in the bottom of the second.
Now the designator hitter, Andrew Plunkett, comes up to bat. Here with two outs after the solo shot homer. As he lays off the first pitch for ball one. And that one misses as well as it's now 2-0. and oh. Swings at that one for two and one count. Bringing the heat right there. And that one's also hit to right field. But that one will be caught for the third out. So North Greenville gets two hits in the inning and gets one run back. So the score is now two to one going into the top of the third. First to bat here in the top of the third is the leadoff hitter. As he gets it right by the third baseman for a single into left field. So they'll get a runner on first with no outs off just the first pitch of the inning. As the first pitch is fouled down the left field line for strike one. And that's fired in there for strike two. That'll be fouled off. Count remains 0 2.
Trey Sweeting takes off. And he's safe. But they get an out on the strikeout. So one out here with the runner on second. And the top of the third. With Drew Ellis coming up to bat, the first baseman. And that is a shot to right field, but it's called foul. So a long strike one on the first pitch to Drew Ellis. And that's hit the opposite way deep. But this time it's a fair ball as it gets into the left field corner. And that'll score a run on the double by Drew Ellis. So make the score 3-1 to one now after the RBI double. With Justin Carroll coming up to bat. Mount Olive's leader in home runs. Here the runner on second chances to do some damage the first pitch is fouled back for strike one Pickoff move a second is unsuccessful. Trying to keep the runner close. Keep this just a two run game. He swings through that one for strike two. That one's high and outside for ball one. And that one's low to make it two and two. And they called a balk on that pickoff move. And Landon is not happy about it. Coach Powell out there pleading his case to the umpire. He's not pleased at all, as you can see. Mm -mm. Windy day here in Tigerville. I look to see how this affects the balls being carried and hits and pitches and such feels good though got a little scared on the way here it started drizzling but <laughs> the weather's been great so far
And Lano will head back to the dugout after the umpire wasn't here anymore. So now a runner on third after the balk with just one out on a 2-2 count to Mount Olive's leader in home runs. And he strikes out. So there's now two outs here in the top of the third for Gunnar Tolson. That's a curveball for strike one. That's hit high to left field. And that'll be the third out. So after one run scored here in the top of the third, that's all the damage that Mount Olive will do as they leave one stranded on after getting two hits. And we will head into the bottom of the third for North Greenville. Leading off the inning for North Greenville is the second baseman, Jared Williams. As the first pitch is a ball. Thought about swinging at that one, but held back and the count is one and one. That's hit to right field, but it'll hang up for the first out of the inning. Nate ST is on the out. So now with one out, we'll see Eric Gilbert, the third baseman, come up to bat. First pitch is a ball to make the count one and zero. Oh. And that is to the shortstop who comes over, makes the throw, and a great scoop by the first baseman makes it two outs here in the bottom of the third. Hard for you to do it. 
count is now 0-2 to the leadoff hitter, Josh Black. As he looks at that one to make the count 1-2. And he'll look at the third strike to make it three outs on the inning. So the Crusaders go down one, two, three in the bottom of the third. And Mount Olive will try to put up more runs here in the top of the fourth coming up next. To bat for the Trojans is number 12, Jose Lopez. Leading off the inning for Mount Olive is the catcher, Jose Lopez. Senior out of Temple, Temple Florida. A look at the first pitch for a strike. And that's grounded to the short, but the throw will not get there in time. As Jose Lopez is going to be safe at first for a leadoff single. Just a tough play for Utah Jones to make. So Justin Lee will come up to bat with... Jose Lopez on first base with no outs. And that's a fly ball to left center, but Connor Grant will snag it. Just an easy play there for Connor Grant. Does it too often. And that'll make it one out here for James Smebert, the third baseman. It's the first pitch is a ball. And he'll swing through the second pitch to make it strike one. Count is now one and one. Here with one out in the top of the fourth. And that pitch is outside for ball two. Starting to drizzle here a little bit. But with this new turf, the rain isn't as much of a problem as it would be for grass and dirt. And that pitch is fouled off for strike two. Make the count two and two.
And he'll look at the third strike to make it two outs here in the top of the fourth for Blake McLean, the nine hole hitter up to bat. Now look at the first pitch for a strike. That would be grounded to the third baseman. And an easy play for him as that's the third out of the inning. So on no run, they get no runs in that inning. One hit, no errors, and one left on base as we head into the bottom of the fourth for North Greenville. Leading off the inning for North Greenville is Utah Jones, the shortstop. The Speedy Jones leads the team in doubles, but yet lacks a home run on the year. So we'll see if he can get that first home run right here. As that's going to be singled up the middle. So not a home run, but a single's good as well for... North Greenville as they get a runner on first with no outs for John Jones the South Carolina transfer as he looks at the first pitch which is a ball for 1-0 They're going to keep Utah Jones close. He's perfect on the season. Stealing. He's 5 for 5. The second pitch is outside to make it 2 and 0. Oh. Take that pitch and make it two and one. And that'll be hit right to the second baseman for the four, six, three double play. Second double play they've turned here in just four innings as that's now two outs. 
for North Greenville. So now Connor Grant comes up to bat, leading the team in home runs. North Greenville would not mind one right here. He's going to lay down a bunt, but it'll be foul to make it 0-1. gets fooled by that curve bar right there to make it 0-2. As that pitch is high for 1-2. One and, a, one and two. That's also how to make the count two and two. He hits that one off his foot to make it a foul ball. The count remains two and two. It's going to be grounded right to the shortstop. And that will be the third out of the inning. So North Greenville, despite getting a hit, has, leaves no runners on base. And the score remains 3-1 to one going into the top of the fifth. Up to bat is the leadoff hitter, Trey Sweeting, here for Mount Olive. The so first pitch is a little high for ball one. And that's going to be fouled off the net to make it strike one, one and one count. That's grounded, foul down the third baseline. 
to make it strike two, one and two. And that is shot right towards us in right center. And it's caught. Connor Grant coming all the way over to get that, to make it one out here nice in the top there of the field. Grant. So now Nate Estes up to bat as he takes strike one. As that pitch will make it two, one and one. The count is now one and two. Right down the middle. Being selective here, see if he gets the pitch he wants. As he hits that to right field. And it'll be caught for the second out of the inning. Nice out by number 24, Jeffrey Chandler. Up to bat now, Drew Ellis, the first baseman, as he swings through that one for strike one. He's going to lay down a bunt, but it'll be fouled back to make it strike two. You can see the shift in effect with the second baseman in shallow right field. Shortstop playing to the right of second base. And that is crushed to right field. For a foul ball. It took a second there to get the call. It was so high it was hard to make a decision by the umpire. Here, there, got a little excited. That was a shot. And he'll strike out. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and nobody left on base from Mount Olive as we go into the bottom of the fifth. Leading off the inning is Jeffrey Chandler for North Greenville, the right fielder. Jeffrey 
Jeffrey Chandler all the way from Scottsdale, Arizona. As he swings at that one for strike one. And that's going to land in front of the left fielder for another leadoff hit from North Greenville. Now bring up Ryan Brown for North Greenville, who homered his last at bat to right field. I'm sure North Greenville would like a repeat of that to tie up the game. As he looks at that one for strike one. Just going to check on the runner. And that's going to be outside for ball one. Make the count one and one. That's hit high, but not far as the second baseman backs up to make the out for the first out of the inning. So here with one out, the designated hitter, Andrew Plunkett, comes up to bat for North Greenville. We're five from that Mount Olive, Justin Lee on the snag. Pitch will be fouled off for strike one. And that pitch will be high to make the count one and one. Swing at that ball in the dirt for strike two. Hard swing there. That's a line drive, and it'll land to put runners on first and second here with one out for North Greenville with Jared Williams, second baseman, coming up to bat. It's a big opportunity for North Greenville here. As he looks at the first pitch to make the count one and zero. Oh. Crusaders here being very selective on their pitches. Doesn't want to make a mistake and give North Greenville the lead. And that'll be a strike to make the count one and one.
And that's a line foul down the right field line to make the count one and two. And that is going to be a 4-6-3 double play, their third of the game, to get out of the inning. So North Greenville with no runs, two hits, and two left on base in that inning. As we'll now head into the top of the six with Mount Olive leading by two. Leading off the inning for Mount Olive will be Justin Carroll. He swings at that one for strike one. 82 pitches for the pitcher Tucker Burgess as we're through the sixth inning. Let's look to see how he does in finishing up this game. That pitch just swung out to make the count 0-2. That'll be a grounded to the third baseman. Excellent play to get the first out of the inning. A tad bit of drizzle. Now up to bat is the designated hitter, Gunnar Tolston. As he swings at that one to make it strike one. That one's grounded to the first baseman for an easy out number two. So we mentioned Tugger Burgess's high pitch count, but so far this inning, just throwing five pitches. As the catcher, Jose Lopez, comes up the bat. And the count is now 0-1. Pitch is high to make it one and one. And he'll swing at that to make the count one and two. Here with two outs in the top of the six.
and he struck him out. So a great inning by Tucker Burgess. He seems just to keep applying the pressure, not letting off the gas. So the Mount Olive will go down one, two, three in that inning as we head into the bottom of the six as North Greenville will try to get some of these runs back here on the North Greenville. That pitch is in there for strike one. And that'll be fouled down the third baseline. Let's make it a quick 0-2 count. I'll be grounded right to the shortstop for the first out of the inning. So now it'll go to the top of the lineup as Josh Black is up to bat. As the first pitch is a ball outside to make the count 1-0. and oh. And that's in there for a strike. Count is now 1-1. One and one. That's going to be low and inside to make it 2-1. and one. Brighton Hudson, the left-handed pitcher here for Mount Olive, is working very quickly. Hudson looks to pick up the pace. He's at about 65 pitches right now. Low ball. Now make the count three and one. And he'll walk him. So I'll give him a runner on first here for Utah Jones. Here with one out in the bottom of the six. And 
and he'll pick off to first, but unsuccessful. And another move to first. Trying to keep Josh Black close. Josh Black is also perfect on the season stealing. He's 12 for 12. And that's fired in there for a strike to make the count 0 and 1. He'll swing at that pitch in the dirt to make the count 0 and 2. And that's a shot to left center and it'll drop for a ground rule double. Which actually hurts North Greenville a little bit there because if it just hit the fence, that's definitely a run that Josh Black would have scored from first. So runners on second and third nonetheless for John Jones. And Mount Olive will have a mound visit. No one warming up in the bullpen, so this will be just a talk to his pitcher. So a big moment here for John Jones with runners on second and third with just one out. And the first pitch will be fouled off for strike one. Now look at that pitch for strike two. So count now 0-2. John Jones needs to protect here at a big roll with one out runners on second and third. And that'll be fouled back to keep the count at 0-2. Great block by the catcher there to save a run from scoring with the speedy Josh Black on third base. So count now one and two here for John Jones. That'll be grounded to the shortstop, and he'll take the out at first, but a run scores for North Greenville. 
they chip away at the lead. Score is now 3-2. to two. And North Greenville still has a runner at third with two outs. Here in the bottom of the six. And Connor Grant is now up to bat. The home run leader for the Crusaders. They'd enjoy a big fly right here. And he was trying for one, but unsuccessful as he swings the ball in the dirt for strike one. A little antsy, Will. Maybe he's looking for another bomb. And just swings right through that breaking ball to make it 0-2. And that'll be, oh. and that's in the infield, and he'll beat it out. And that'll tie the game. Very unconventional single, but North Greenville will take it as it ties the game at 3-3. Three to three. Just a great play by the Crusaders. That ball just took the perfect balance right out of the reach of the pitcher, and I think even if the second baseman got it, uh, Connor Grant's just too quick, and he would have – believe he would have beat it out anyway close to 80 pitches let's see how Hudson rallies and no one warming up in the Mount Olive bullpen as he fires in a strike right there to make the count 0 and 1 Now look at that outside to make the count one and one. Another outside pitch to make it two and one. And they'll try to keep Connor Grant close by at first. Connor Grant has 13 stolen bases on the season. It's so Mount Olive thinking he's trying to get another. And they'll pick off again. Now to be fouled off straight back to make the count two and two for Jeffrey Chandler. And Connor Grant will steal. Make that 13, Will. However, it will be a strikeout, so. The stolen base will not count. And that will end the inning for North Greenville. So on two hits, they get two runs and leave one on base as the score is now tied 3-3 three to three going into the top of the seventh here on the North Greenville Sports Network.
Leading off the inning for Mal Olive is Justin Lee, the second baseman. As he looks at strike number one to make the count 0-1. And that'll be grounded right to Utah Jones for the first out of the inning. Coming up to bat for Mount Olive now is the third baseman, James Smebert. This will go right to the first base, and he flips it to the pitcher for the second out. So two quick outs. Quick, fast, and a hurry, Will. As Blake McLean, the shortstop, comes up to bat. As he watches ball one. And this is fouled back for strike one. He'll swing at that one to make it one and two. And that'll be the third out of the inning. So Tucker Burgess working very quickly. And the score remains three to three after Mount Olive gets no runs, no hits, and nobody left on base in the top of the seventh. So we'll head to the bottom of the seventh where North Greenville will try to take the lead here on the North Greenville Sports Network. Leading off the inning for North Greenville is the first baseman, Ryan Brown, who hit a home run in his first appearance. The 1-0 pitch is fired for a strike to make the count 1-1. One and one. And that'll be a ball to make the count 2-1. and one. And that'll be chopped to the shortstop. He'll make the play. 
So one out here in the bottom of the seventh. With Andrew Plunkett coming up to bat, the designated hitter. Nice stop on the play by Blake McLean. That pitch is fired outside for ball one. And that'll be ball two. Still no one warming up in the Mount Olive bullpen. 89 pitches for Hudson. Surprising not seeing a relief pitcher warming up. As that one's fouled off to make it two and one. And that'll be outside to make the count three and one. And that's a high pop up. And the first baseman will trot over and get it to make the second out of the inning. So two outs here in the bottom of the seventh. As Jared Williams, the second baseman, steps up, looking to do some damage. And he lays down a bunt, and he's going to be safe. No one is covering first. So a great bunt by Jared Williams. One of the few mistakes on Mount Olive. So they'll now have a runner on first with two outs. For Eric Gilbert, the third baseman. Gilbert with two home runs on the year. Another one right here would be huge for North Greenville. as he watches the first pitch go by for a ball. And that'll be outside to make the count two and oh. And that's right to the shortstop. He flips at the second baseman to make the third out of the inning. So North Greenville with the one hit in the inning, but no runs, one left on base. As we head into the top of the eighth here on the North Greenville Sports Network.
Leading off the inning for Mount Olive is the leadoff hitter, Trey Sweeting. The first pitch is fired in there for a strike. As well as the second pitch. He'll swing at that one, but it's fouled off. So the count remains 0-2. That'll be outside for ball one. 100 pitches here for Tucker. And I'm surprised to not see anybody warming up in the bullpen for North Greenville as this one is a ground ball up the middle for a single. So leadoff hitter gets on base for Mount Olive. As Nate Estes comes up to the plate. And Trey Sweeting has 16 stolen bases on the year, so North Green will be looking to keep him close by its at first base as they attempt to pick off. Speedy kid out of Nassau, Bahamas. And that's lined up the middle for two hits in a row for Mount Olive. So runners on first and second now with no outs. A, here comes a big chance for Drew Ellis to knock in some runs. North Greenville still with no action in the bullpen. That's fouled into Mount Olive's dugout for strike one. Chop to the first base coach for strike two. Here comes the O two pitch. Steps back to second base to give a look at Trey Sweeting. He steps off. Here comes the 0-2 pitch, and he strikes out. He was trying to crush that ball. It's now one out with Justin Carroll coming up to bat, the leader in home runs for Mount Olive. So North Greenville needs to be careful with this batter.
And he swings at that one to make it strike one. Got fooled a little bit there. Burgess still working with 107 pitches. He attempts a pick off to second. He swings through that one for strike two. So after giving up back-to-back -back singles up the middle, he has a chance to strike out back-to-back -back batters. And the close pitch is called for ball one. Close call there. Burgess just keeps on applying the pressure. I'm really surprised there's no one warming up for North Greenville, despite being at 108 pitches. His arm must still feel good. And that is hit deep. And Connor Grant gets to it. Somehow, it makes the second out of the inning. Such an athletic play by Grant. The ability to get over here so quickly and extend out to get the ball. I thought for sure that was a two RBI double, but Connor Grant being so quick somehow able to get to it all the way on at the right field fence. So with two outs now, we'll see Justin Carroll, I'm sorry, Gunnar Tolston, as he watches the first ball go by. Swings through that one to make the count one and one. That's fouled off down the third baseline. Make it one and two. For Tucker Burgess to get out of this inning, after giving up back-to-back -back singles to start off the inning, this would be huge. And that's hit up the middle. And Connor Grant will fire it to third. And he is out at third after a great throw by Connor Grant. And I think they're saying they got the out before the run at home scored. And that's what the Mount Olive coaches are arguing. I believe that was the call. So a great play by Connor Grant to save the run from scoring by throwing the third. As the score remains 3-3 three to three, heading into the bottom of the eighth here on the North Greenville Sports Network.
So to lead off the inning, the bottom of the eighth for North Greenville is Josh Black, the leadoff hitter. Hudson just reaches 100 pitch mark. And Josh Black will look at that to make the count two and one. It's now three and one. Josh Black walked his last at bat and was one of the runs that scored in the bottom of the six to tie the game. And he'll walk again. So the speedy Josh Black is on first base. Best believe that North Greenville want him to snag second base. Look for them to keep an eye on Josh Black. And now there's action in Mount Olive's bullpen. As Brighton Hudson has reached 102 pitches. So up to bat is Utah Jones, who ripped the ground rule double his last at bat. I'm sure he'll be looking to do something similar this at bat. Actually not, he lays down a bunt. And he'll beat it out. So there will now be runners at first and second with no outs. Repeating what Mount Olive did in the top of this inning with back-to-back -back base runners to start off the inning. I don't know about you, Will, but it looks like a bit of a momentum swing for the Crusaders. And John Jones will be looking to do some damage. Has the highest batting average for North Greenville. However, he's 0 for 3 today, so he'll be looking to get his first tally in his first hit. And he'll look Josh Black back at second. And that's going to be flown out to the first baseman. Not what North Greenville wants there. I'm sure John Jones is frustrated with that as he swings at the first pitch. Easy snag for first baseman Drew Ellis. And that gives them the first out of the inning. Here for Connor Grant, who's two for three on the day with an RBI. Grant, who seems to be the go-to guy on both ends today. Let's see, can you get it done? That breaking ball will get in there for strike one. The catcher's going to come out the top of the pitcher. And a look at that ball, a look at that ball to make it one and one. And that is going to be a sick 
Yes. A ground out to the shortstop. And they'll just take the out at second. Can't turn the 6-4-3 double play. It would be their fourth of the game. But they'll take the out at second to give them two outs. With Jeffrey Chandler coming up to bat with runners on first and third with two outs. Big spot here in the bottom of the eighth in the tied game. And there will be another mound visit. A big spot for North Greenville. These two pitchers seem to be going at it. Oh, look at that pitch for ball one. Connor Grant was still second. So base hit here. Now possibly even scores two with Connor Grant now at in scoring position. Swing at that one to make the count one and two. So the one two pitch here with two outs in the bottom of the eighth with two runners in scoring position. Jeffrey Chandler here in a big spot. And he'll ground that down the third baseline for a foul ball. To stay alive here in a 1-2 count with two outs. Watch that go low to make the count two and two. The two two pitch and that bounces and that's gonna score a run. So the wild pitch scores a run for North Greenville. As now there's a full count, North Greenville has the lead, and Connor Grant is on third. Big momentum change for the Crusaders. And that pitch is a ball, and that'll walk him. Give them runners at the corners with two outs. With Ryan Brown up to bat, who homered in his first appearance today. Oh, 
Chris Wright really want to be in their lineup. That pitch is right down the middle for strike one. And that'll be strike two. Brighton Hudson with 117 pitches. Here in the bottom of the eighth, still going at it. And that's line to left field, and that'll score Connor Grant. So North Greenville's North Greenville is now up by two. As they get two runs with two outs in the bottom of the eighth. Big hit by Ryan Brown right there. As now Mount Olive will make the pitching change. Interesting stat line here for Crusaders. If the North Greenville can hold off Mount Olive Trojans, they'll take a 13-0 undefeated streak at their new turf field. Let's see what the Crusaders can do. At the bottom of the eighth, our North Greenville bench seems to come alive. The first batter he'll face is Andrew Plunkett, the designated hitter. As that is ripped up the middle. And that'll score another run for North Greenville. As with two outs, the bats have came alive and they've scored three runs now in this inning to make the score six to three. The Crusaders just keep keep rallying. Now they'll bring the second baseman, Jared Williams, up to bat.
Jarrett Williams batting 284 on the season. And he'll take that low and inside for ball one. North Green will put a pinch runner on first base in place of Andrew Plunkett. And that'll be Josh Center, first base. And that is ripped past the shortstop. When you know it, scores another run with two outs. So four runs put on the board now with two outs. So that'll increase the lead to seven to three. Crusaders here on the roll. And that'll bring up Eric Gilbert, who's 0 for 3 on the day. He laid out a bunt, but pulled it back and took ball number one. And that'll be ball two. And that'll be right down the middle for strike one. Makes the count two and one. Being very selective here. So the count's now two and two. Run on first and second. So I'll be outside to make the count full here in the bottom of the eighth. And that'll be fouled back. Runners will be going full count two outs, so Base hit possibly scores two. And a close pitch is called ball four. Loaded bases. And that'll bring the leadoff hitter Josh Black up to bat here with bases loaded with two outs. See if he can continue this two out rally. As the first pitch is inside for ball one. That's two and oh. Josh Black is 0 for 2 today, however, he walked twice and 
And both times he got walked, he scored. As that's taken for a strike, two and one. And that's high and inside. Makes it count three and one. Here with bases loaded. The last thing that I want to do is walk another run to score. Right, nowhere to put the base runner, so he has to throw strikes here. And that is going to be caught by the shortstop. I'm sorry, it's bounced to the shortstop. He throws it out to first to make the third out. So, two out rally by North Greenville scores four in the bottom of the eighth, and they'll be looking to close out this game. With Tucker Burgess still in there to pitch, going to go for the complete game with a four-run lead here in the top of the ninth. As Jose Lopez will lead off the inning for Mount Olive as he looks at strike one. Comes the 0 1 pitch. And that breaks in there for strike two. And that'll be ball one. Make the count one and two. Tucker Burgess at 117 pitches as he strikes out the first batter of the top of the ninth to give him one out. So still going at it strong. Strike one. Burgess bringing the heat on that pitch. Justin Lee, the second baseman up to bat. He fouls that one off to make it 0-2. And he got him. So back-to-back -back strikeouts in the top of the ninth for Tucker Burgess. Is there one out away from taking game number one of this doubleheader? Not sure what's more impressive, North Greenville's ability to rally or, or the relentlessness of Burgess. And Jake, James Smebert is up to bat as he takes ball, a strike one. And he crushes that to right field. And it'll be caught for the third out 
to close out this game. So North Greenville will take game number one against Mount Olive 7-3 after a four-run, two-out rally in the bottom of the eighth propels them past Mount Olive. The Crusaders 13-0 on the turf. Still undefeated. So Tucker Burgess with the complete game, giving up seven hits, three runs, all three of them earned, only walking one and striking out 12. And I believe he retired at least as last, the last nine batters he faced. As I noticed those last three innings, he was just working very quickly getting by the batters. So North Greenville takes game number one of today's doubleheader as we'll see you after a short break in between game number one and number two. So thank you for listening on the North Greenville Sports Network. <laughs> 